Brian Martin with you and today I've also got Mark Gorski with me who is a former elite runner and also a coach, current coach of elite athletes um, including the Australian national cross country champion Clint Perrett from 2010, is that right? Or 2009? 2009. 2009, sorry, slight inaccuracy. <laughs> um, so I've got Mark on today just to have a bit of a talk about something that uh, I learned a little bit about last night. I um, attended a coaches forum where Ron Warhurst the coach of Nick Willis, the Olympic 1500 meter silver medalist. Uh, Ron was um, particularly focused on arm swing as being an important thing in running technique. So I just want to pick Mark, Mark's brain a little bit today about how important um, arm swing is and whether it really does make a difference to running faster. So Mark, um, Ron was basically of the mind that um, generating a really fast arm swing actually really helps drive and regulate leg turnover. Um, I found that pretty interesting. Um, what do you reckon? Yeah, I, I partially agree, I guess. Um, from a, a, a distance running perspective, um, during the race you really want an arm swing that's just efficient and then quite a relaxed arm swing. Um, and then towards the end of the race when your legs are getting tired, it, it's certainly arm swing and increasing your arm swing can certainly be a um, really a key indicator and actually just just an impulsive thing to actually get your legs to actually start turning over when yeah. they are getting tired. So yeah, uh, yeah well, whilst I partially I do agree with it, um, certainly on a distance running perspective, um, more towards the end of the race when the legs are, and the body and the brain are all getting tired, yeah. it certainly um, can be just that one little thing that just triggers the legs to, just to keep going when they probably yep. feel like they can't. Yeah, and in terms of actual posture of the arm, Ron was pretty adamant about sort of keeping the elbow sort of hooked at about 90 degrees. Yes. Um, would that be what you would generally advise around it? Absolutely, do. yeah. That's definitely something that I try and instill in, in my guys is to um, is to hold that arm carriage at about a 90 degree. Mm -hmm. It's really the most efficient way of, of doing yeah. it. Um, and actually also, no move, not a lot of movement at the elbow, not mm -hmm. a lot of this sort of action. It's mm -hmm. actually more of a nice relaxed arm action and a swing yep. from the shoulder. So um, you'll, you'll see a lot of runners actually I call it a drumming, yeah, they look like they're drumming when they're running. So yep. instead of that, just trying to keep a nice yep. relaxed arm action and, and swing from the shoulders. Excellent. In time with the legs, of course. Yep. Yeah, well, it's definitely something I'm going to try out on my run later on this afternoon because, uh, as you know, I've sort of been through this process of trying to improve my own technique and almost my arm sw swing is almost the last thing that I've got to pay attention to because I've spent so much time focusing on what's happening with my legs. So um, I'll be putting Ron's advice into play tonight. And, We'll see how that goes. Definitely. Last piece in your puzzle, maybe, Brian. Oh, who knows? There always <laughs> seems to be another piece that needs solving, so Definitely. we'll see how I go with that. Thanks Excellent. for your time today, mate. No worries. Cheers. Thanks.